Whether it's because they requested account removal, have reached a set amount of time of inactivity, or just disagreed with you about whether to use tabs or spaces, sometimes you gotta nuke a user. Let's add some delete links to our user list and then let's make these delete links actually work. Make sure you have your server running with Nodemon so it'll catch code changes automatically. First, go ahead and add a bunch of users to your list so that you have lots to delete. Five or six should do. There we go. Now open up slash views slash userlist.ejs and find this line. Below it, but above the closing li tag, add the following. You can save this and refresh the page to see our ugly and ineffective delete buttons. There they are, and they don't do anything. Eh. You know what this means. It's time to write some client-side event catchers. Remember those from JS Quick Hits 57? If not, hit that tutorial for a quick refresher or just follow along. It's pretty straightforward. First, create a file in slash public slash javascripts called site.js. Then add this code. Go ahead and save that. Then head back to slash views slash user list.ejs. And just below the style sheet tag, add this line. Save that. Refresh the page. Open your console. Let's embiggen this a bit. There we go. and go ahead and click on something. You'll see that we're catching clicks and logging the user's ID. That's great, but it's not going to get the job done. We're going to need to use XHR to submit them. We covered XHR in JS Quick Hits 63, albeit not in depth. I should probably do a series on that too at some point. Anyway, here's a big lump of code to replace that console.log in public slash javascript slash site.js, this one here. I've commented it so it's clear what's happening. Go ahead and save that. That's a fancy XHR request that makes a delete call to a URL that, well, that doesn't exist yet. We're going to fix that right now. Open up slash routes slash users.js and head for the bottom of the file. Just above the module.exports line, add this simple route. As you can see, we're once again using Mongoose to make our life easier. We just pass it the ID of the user to delete, and it does the rest, looking up the user in the user's collection, deleting them, and sending an error or success depending on whether things worked out or not. We're done. Save any files you haven't saved, and return to localhost port 3000 slash user list in your browser. Refresh the page, and delete one of your test users. We'll go with Bort. And there he goes. Hooray! Next week we'll look at updating the users, which will involve a lot more code on the client side and a bit more on the server side. See you then!